Hello, welcome back to... Wait, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're keeping that in anyway. Welcome right, back right, to right. Mostly Movies. No, I'm not editing that out. No, don't. No. Welcome back to Mostly Movies. I'm Quinn Wright. This is my buddy Robbie. Hello. And today we have a returning guest, Joseph Sabora. Hey, folks. Uh, your channel is Joe... I mean, we just search your name, so... Uh... Yeah, like Joseph... Actually, let's do, let's do plugs later. So, yeah, yeah. First, first topic is I went to an event last night at the South Pasadena Library where I saw the disaster artist with Greg Sestero there doing a Q&A. Yeah, I really wanted to go, but I was working. Yeah, it was pretty fucking cool. Working a block away. Have you, seen, have you seen the disaster artist, Joe? I've seen the disaster artist like a couple months ago. It's brilliant. Yeah. It, uh, I, I thought James Franco did a great job uh, yeah. portraying the role as uh, Tommy Rousseau. Yeah. Um, it, apparently he hadn't seen the room before he read the book. And he went, was halfway through the book when he's like, I have to make this a movie, which was pretty awesome. And he actually wrote it here in South Pass, uh, Sestero. He'd moved to South Pass. He's a South Pass native, not yeah. to blow up his spot. But he, uh, he moved here and then started writing the book. And actually, uh, sometimes when you have someone writing a book and they have a co-author, it's like, this, guy, this co-author is like a serious writer. Mm -hmm. I kind of think, you know, the temptation is to think that Greg didn't write a lot of it, just kind of handed stuff over to, to Tom Bissell, but I don't think he did. I think he had a lot of big hand writing it, because Greg's a pretty funny dude. He's really nice, super funny, really positive is something I'd like to say about him. He's really cool. You can follow him at Greg Sestero, I guess, if you're on Twitter. Yeah, I took a picture with him. That I didn't really talk to him, unfortunately. Yeah, I still have my picture on Facebook with me and him and Tommy. Yeah, I need to upload mine again because I got a new Facebook. Yep. Uh, have you, have you, you've seen The Room. We've, we suggested you review yeah. it, actually. Me yeah, and I gave it one and a half stars <laughs> a long time ago. It's, <laughs> well, it's, it's I, I mean, like a half star movie or a five star movie. Though. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's no masterpiece, but it's one of those movies where, you know, you're just sitting there trying to figure out what's going on. Well, the, the weird thing about it is it's almost competently made. Yeah. Because, as, as the movie shows it, really the most of the just bizarreness is because is because of Tommy, but the crew around him was actually fairly okay. Of course, a lot of them just gave up most, like, a couple days in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, except Julia, or except Lisa, who apparently is super trooper. Julia Denya. Uh, Juliet Danielle, I yeah. didn't want to give her the wrong name, so I just called her Lisa. Um, she she took so much abuse on that set, particularly at the hands of Tommy, but and she just powered through because she really wanted to be an actress, and I kind of res really respect her for that. But she also at one point is like, you know what, fuck this, this is dumb, let's just phone it in. And yeah. that's a lot of the other performances, I think, is that they're just like, okay, this is stupid, let's just do it. Yeah, yeah. Except what about Chris R. Oh, Chris R. He was a masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, he was great. Marlon Brando. I can't remember the guy who played it. Him, him. I mean, Jack, Zac Efron played him, that guy in the movie. Yeah. Which was kind of inspired casting, actually. Um, oh, man, that movie was so great. Unfortunately, the, the library didn't show the uh, the after credit scene with actually Tommy was O. Oh, I didn't which do was that. A sh I don't know. They just stopped at the credits, which mm. was a shame. Because I love that. Time. I love that scene. It's yeah. just... Yeah, I thought that was... Uh, Very funny. Interesting. That reminds me is that... Uh, I'm not sure I should say this, but I'm going to anyway. Here's a scoop. Fans of nobody who listens, actually. Um, they, they're thinking of having a screening of Best Friends, which is Tommy and Greg's next movie oh. that they made, which is apparently like Kill Bill in two parts. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. That's, that's crazy. Well, they might not know it. You know it, but I have to tell them. Yeah. It's apparently pretty good. Greg ha says... Like, he has faith in that one. Mm -hmm. Like, he actually has faith in Tommy's ability to act if given the proper role. Mm -hmm. Which, I guess, anyone can act if given the proper role, I guess. Uh, well, I guess the proper role was not that... Not role, Samurai Cop 2. Samurai Cop 2, yeah. Not Samurai... Fuck that movie. I wanted to strangle them in that movie. I love Samurai Cop 1. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the Samurai Cop series? I guess the franchise now? I don't now? think so. Samurai Cop is fantastic. It's the room of action movies. Yeah. And they made a sequel that was just garbage it was kind of it felt to me or i wasn't even able to finish it because like it's just felt feels like a slap in the face it doesn't yeah. it's too tongue-in-cheek it's trying to be bad funny and it's not and it's just 
aggravating. I couldn't. Yeah, you can't do bad on purpose. No. I mean, some people... There's one movie I've seen that's bad on purpose that is funny, and that's uh, Lost Skeleton of Cadabra, mm. which is not even really just bad on purpose. It's just very tongue-in-cheek. It's like, oh, this is a parody movie of bad movies. I guess this you could say Black Dynamite in a way, too. Black Dynamite. Like, well, Black Dynamite. The mics and the, the shot and well, stuff they're doing that. Which is all like, intention. Yeah. yeah. Black Dynamite. Have you seen Black Dynamite? That's a fantastic movie. Yeah, I saw that a long time ago. Yeah, it's, it's a spiritual successor yeah. to the Naked Gun series, which yeah. is... One of my favorite comedy series. Yeah. Um, so what have you seen lately, Joe? Well, I just watched uh, Escape Plan 2 Hades. Yeah? And that film... Stunk, didn't it? Yes. I'm sure. It fucking suck. I, um, I, I actually uh, didn't mind the original Escape Plan. Really? Sylvester Stallone and, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. I mean, I mean, sure, it's no lockup, uh, which I know Stallone what did. It, well, what is? But it's just uh, a different kind of prison movie, but it's set on a ship. I mean, to be fair, Stallone has a ton of shitty movies under his belt. Yeah. Like, uh, not necessarily shitty, although, you know, like, fucking ridiculous. Like, Over the Top, which uh, is a movie about I arm wrestling. <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying it's no, a bad movie, it's just the concept is ridiculous. Of course, this was 1986, wasn't it? Or 84? Seven. 87. Yeah. Which... Fueled with cocaine, I'm sure. Um, well, I did have problems with uh, the actor David Manhall. Who's um, that? He's the he's the kid in the movie. Oh Please. yeah, the the kid who um, there. I mean, there's some allegations on Stallone. I won't get into them, but it specifically revolves around David Manholm yeah. or whatever his name is. Um, yeah, those kind of just went away, didn't they? The allegations against Stallone. Yeah. Yeah, I don't hear about them anymore. Yeah. It's a shame. A lot of our, like, famous people... I mean, it is a thing about with abusing power and stuff we can yeah. talk about, but we won't. Um, so, Escape Plan 2 stunk. Anything else? I saw Overboard. Um, what was that? Oh, that that one. There, I, I saw two versions. The original that I remember with uh, Goldie Hawn and, and Kurt Russell. And the that's other a one, remake? Yeah, they had a remake uh, with Eugenio Davis and... And Anna Ferris. Yeah. I'm scared. Yeah, it's... I, I knew about that. I didn't know that was a remake. It was. God dang, Hollywood. Just remaking every dumb movie from the 80s. Yeah, I it's mean, like, already with Robocop and Total Recall, Red Dawn. I mean, Red Dawn was... Eh, eh. The Robocop remake was useless. Yeah. Like, it was entertaining, I guess, but, like, it had none of the satire. Like, it was not yeah. satire, like, the original. Game. Exactly. And it also, that director was not allowed, because I love the director, oh, Jose Padilla. Padilla. Yeah. yeah, he's great. I, I love that dude. Uh, he did, as as I believe we talked about, um, the Tropa de Elite series, which is also known as Elite Force. Elite Squad. Elite Squad, yeah. yeah. Uh, Brazilian movies. They're great movies. Yeah. It star, which star, um, guy from Narcos, what's his name? I don't know. I don't watch Narcos. Wagner Mora. Okay. He is fantastic. He was also Spider in uh, Elysium, which, not great. I like Elysium. Yeah, but not great compared to Blumkamp's other movies. No. Like, Chappie was fantastic. That was so fun. And it was also great to see Hugh Jackman as a villain in that. I didn't like Chappie. What, what problems do you have with it? Pretty much everything. Um, I don't know. It just seems like, you know, it's like short circuit, but... The character is like a wannabe gangster. Yeah, that was hilarious. I mean, it's it's more RoboCop than Short Circuit, in my opinion. I mean, there's a bit of Short Circuit in it, but it's it's closer to RoboCop in terms of tone, uh, in terms of I mean the mo the the moose, right? Yeah. That's Ed Two Hundred Nine, yeah. basically. Yeah. That means that Neil Blomkamp is making two RoboCop. Movies. Yeah, basically, which Neil Blomkamp is probably the perfect director for the new, the, an upcoming RoboCop. Yeah, Although, have not even done the first well, as long remakes. as they cast uh, someone better, like maybe. Uh, oh, I don't you talk shit about Joel Kinnaman. He is fantastic. Uh, have you ever seen um, the Killing, the series, the Killing? He's so good in that. I think I only saw just maybe just a few episodes. It's but... such a great series. It's probably some of the best television I've ever seen. Well, the first season was really the first cool. season. I was ready to be over... I, w I don't know how much I want to spoil about it, but 
it doesn't resolve by the end of the first season, and they were ready to be over to just end it after the first season. And I thought that would have actually been a beautiful, strong move about how most murders are never solved. Yeah. And uh, Joel Kinnaman is fantastic in that. Um, he was also great. He was. I wish that Fincher had gotten the chance to make the rest of the Dragon Tattoo movies because Joel Kinnaman would was going to play a much more important part. Yeah, yeah, he was like basic. That. He, he was, was a, standing one scene. He was a glorified extra in yeah. the scene he was in in Dragon Tattoo, but his character makes, um, appear, is more important, much more important in the second and third um, installations of the series. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what else were we going to say? You've, you've recently got a bunch of movies from the library. Yeah, I got a bunch of $1 movies. Um, I'm going to make a hoarding up video, which is like further... Uh, <laughs> Such a stupid name. Explains it. What? I did hoard up. I bought like ten fucking movies for a dollar each. It makes you sound like a prepper. Okay. Well, that's just what they're called. I mean, if anyone should sound like a prepper, it's probably me. Yeah. Not you. Yeah, You're yeah. a normal person. You're not a prepper. I am a prepper. <laughs> Preparing well, to just I also eat. Got, uh, I got something rare. Records of the Lotus War on DVD. Yeah. I have fantastic memories of that from childhood, even though they're just kind of... Not real memories. They're like very vague. It's like um, the but anime version of your of like a classic JRPG from the nineties. Yeah, it has very JRPG art because it's anime. Yeah, um, there's like a wizard, a thief. Oh yeah, dwarf, it's Dungeons and Dragons. Like, yeah, too. Isn't yeah. it? I forbid. I somehow remember it being sort of space related. Is it? No, nah, it's it's pretty pretty fantasy. So okay, like so it's just hardcore fantasy. So, okay, so it's Dungeons and Dragons. Basically, yeah, the, the anime, anime Dungeons and Dragons. From the early 90s, I think it aired in 1990 and went on to like 92. Yeah, that was, was like, a big part of the childhood. Yeah. You also got Black Lagoon and Evangelion, which I remember we had a Evangelion on DVD, but you, I lent it to you and it got lost somehow. I don't remember. How <laughs> no, it. I sold it. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I sell my movies all the time because I'm an idiot. Not anymore. Yeah, no, not anymore. And we also got Black Lagoon. Black Lagoon. The first four episodes. That's a fun series. <laughs> Very gun heavy, which yeah. I like. Um, although I hear... German Gun is even more gun heavy, which I want to check out. Mm. Which is named after so I can't remember what German Gun is in Norse mythology. Um, you got the Goonies. Yeah, I mean I don't want to get too much into it right now because yeah, we're spoiling video. the whole video. Yeah, we're spoiling the video. Yeah. But yeah, so I got a bunch of movies for a dollar each, and yep. uh, pretty happy about that. Uh, what did I watch? You recently? were never here. You want to talk about right? Yeah, you were never really here. It was a really good movie, I thought. Uh, I, like, I like Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, a lot. I've heard he's nothing but good actor. about this movie. Yeah. He's really good at it. He's, yeah. like, he's huge. He's like Bane size in nice. the movie. Nice. That's what you're trying to be. You're dwarf kind of trying to be Bane and Joaquin Yeah, yeah. Phoenix. I went to the doctor and they told me I got to gain weight because I'm underweight for my height. Which yep. I'm like 6'2", so yeah. I'm a skinny guy right now. Tall boy. Yeah. Breaking up with tall boys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so, any other stand-up movies, Joe, that you've seen lately? Well... What was the last one in theaters? It's, I I just saw Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Yeah? And you liked that one, right? Yeah. It, it was a I, decent I, movie. I mean... Yeah, I'm sure it's decent. I'm just... I don't know. I'm sad because this is like the first Jurassic Park since the first one where I haven't seen it in theaters. Yeah. I think you said that last podcast, actually. Did I? I think so. I mean, it's... That's how important Jurassic Park is to you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was in the first one in theaters. Yeah, definitely. That's a fantastic series, especially yeah. the first one. I like all. Yes, of the first one. I even I I like the third one better than Lost World, yeah. mainly now because of this one scene that's very <laughs> subtle. But there, you know, the scene where they're at the river and Doctor Green is, is yeah. drinking from the river. Yeah. Well, then the camera pans over and you can see William H. Macy like adjusting his pants, no, he's like just, he's just pissed up stream. Yeah. It's very funny if you catch it. That's that's my least favorite of the series. Yeah, well, I, I I think Lost World. I don't know. I they're they're all fine. Honestly, Jurassic Park three is probably my favorite sequel of the Jurassic Park. Yeah, movies. yeah. I like the Spinosaur. I like the yeah. cell phone thing. Yeah, like you can hear the cell phone ringtone when it like. It's that there. was that was a crazy thing yeah. actually. It's it's funny how I'm I'm starting to do visual effects. I'm getting into 3D animation. It's a lot easier than I expected actually, but mm. it's still I can see how it you know it's an artist thing. Um, how I, it still, I, it hasn't diminished my respect for the artists who do it. The fact that it feels a lot easier than I thought it would be. I just thought it'd be super hard. Mm-hmm. And, um, Jurassic Park really did just, it was breakthrough in terms of visual effects. Cause yeah, that, cause if you've seen the visual effects, even like 
a year or so after Jurassic it's, Park. It holds up yeah. fantastically. Yeah. I Those actually, are the mix yeah, of they, the um, practical effects with the CGI. Oh, yeah. Very real. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks... Feels, I mean, it well, real. it doesn't feel real once you know about dinosaurs in actuality, because yeah. dinosaurs didn't actually look like that. I, I, I know. Yeah. I wish no, they I mean, did. when I saw the, the original movie, it felt real. Yeah, no, it yeah. felt very... I guess visceral is the term, because yeah, I love visceral. that term. Vis visceral. But dinosaurs were actually more bird-like, apparently. We now they think... Are. Which is lame. Well, I mean, birds are what... Di they evolved into birds. Yeah. Which is the lamest thing I can think of. I, the prefer, I prefer thing. thinking about dinosaurs. As it's like a pigeon thing. used to be a T-Rex. It's like, God damn, how low can you go? That's like the worst fate. It's like you were king of the king of the world, and then now you're a tra sky trash pigeon. Yeah, you're a sky rat. With wings. Sky rat. Um, what else can we talk about? There is... Uh, Let's see. Uh, we were going to go see Slender Man. We were. We that, could still see it. We could, I guess. But not but, today. Yeah. But I mean, I, I don't know if I really want to see that piece of shit in theaters. Why? Just because I don't want to support those movies, really. I'll still see it, but, like, on disc. Yeah, when I buy it. And yeah, I mean, you're... Download. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, I... Do you know anything about that movie, Joe? About Slender Man? Uh... Or I the phenomenon? I just uh, found out about it just, uh, just, just recently, but... Well, uh, I, I don't know about the movie, though. It's apparently awful. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. It has like a 0% from top critics around Tomatoes. And Although... It has, like, has a 30% from audiences. I mean, I trust the audiences more than I trust the critics yeah, these days. Sometimes. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. I don't know, sometimes. Sometimes the main uh, mainstream audiences... Sometimes I don't trust either. Like, Hereditary has like a 50-something percent from audiences. And yeah. That's bullshit. I still need to see that. I will buy it on September 4th. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, was good. Everything did you see Huh? Well, no, sorry, I was, I was just talking about Rotten Yeah, I know, I know you went on a, a, a tirade about the critics. Yeah, well, I mean, overboard with you. critics can suck a dick. Yeah, I'm sick of them. Yeah. Because not really... Because they kind of also hold the fate of the movie in their hands, and that kind of is bullshit. Yeah, Rotten Tomatoes actually kind of ruined... It like, did. Like, a lot of people judge movies solely based on a meter that they don't really understand. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it's, it's a binary thing. Uh-huh. Where it's 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 just absolute horseshit. Rotten Tomatoes is horseshit. Yeah. Um, yeah just, I mean, other people's opinion. I may sound like a psychopath here because I might be one, but um, other people's opinion are kind of bullshit compared to like what I think. When I think of a movie, it's like I don't care what everyone else thinks at all. I mean, if you like it, great. If you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Slender Man phenomenon actually started on the the message board, the uh, something awful message boards. It was part of a Photoshop contest that just went viral and people assigned lore to it. And it's, is that what it was? It's, yeah, it was a, literally just an image that made in Photoshop. It was never an urban legend until people started making it one. Yeah. I mean, if you think of the phenomenon of the Tulpa, which I learned about on the last podcast of the left, which I'm obsessed with now, mm -hmm. um, it may, like, you know, there's... It's like, Tulpas are things from, like, Silent Hill. The monsters in Silent Hill are consider you can consider them tulpas or Freddy the Freddy Krueger in one of the Friday night or one of the Nightmare on Elm Street. So I think the third part, New Nightmare, mm. where he becomes real. So yeah, that is what a tulpa is basically. It's psychically th brought a, psych a physically manifested part of the psyche, and they're kind of like attention whores too. Mm -hmm. Of enter like they're enter they they feed on attention, much like a celebrity. Um, like the Kardashians. Damn it, I should have said that one first. Um, Kim Kardashians. But yeah, well, I mean, Kim Kardashian actually has done quite a bit of philanthropy work, I've found out, which is fascinating, because it's like, why? Probably the... PR, definitely, yeah, 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 makes her true. money, but it's also doesn't diminish the good it does, no. I guess. Um, like, she got some... From this like, question. on her suggestion, some lady got pardoned or something for some offense, like some nonviolent offense, which is great, because... The prison system sucks. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, what are we... Slender Man. Slender Man. Yeah. James Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Slender Man looks like... I mean, it's got to be garbage, right? You know the guy, the actor who played um, the Crooked Man in Conjuring 2? Oh, yeah. Who played that, Slender Man? That's good casting. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I also... You said that one thing, that part with the dog was not CG. It had some CG. You can tell. 
Well, I mean, enhance, Not, enhancements. Enhancements, yeah. He actually can do the... the but yeah, he did the contortion yeah. himself. The Conjuring 2. Absolute bullshit, but great movie. You said that last time. Yes, I did. But I want to repeat it, because uh -huh. it is great film. One of my favorite, actually, I, as I said... As I said, I don't know if you knew, Joe, but I watched Poltergeist for the first time recently. Uh, which one? The, the original. The, the original 82? Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. I don't fun. think anyone, like, really... Yeah. Whenever people talk about Poltergeist, I don't think anyone has the remake on their mind. Yeah. No. I forget that existed, actually. Yeah. I <laughs> know. Yeah, it's... The it's was horrible. I'm sure. I actually started watching It as well, the new one. Oh, yeah. What do you it, think? It's pretty good so far. I like... I like uh, Bill, Bill Skarsgård? Yeah. yeah, Bill Skarsgård. There's a lot of great Skarsgårds. Oh. Skarsgård's a great acting family. Have you seen the Skarsgårds in anything? Uh, of like, course you have. Like which one? Uh, any of them. I, I particularly yeah, I like Alexander Skarsgård because he was Iceman in Generation Kill. Yeah. Uh, he's a fantastic Stellan's, favorite, Stellan's yeah. a great Skarsgård. Yeah. Uh, that reminds me of, uh, I don't know why, I just thought of, um, what's his name? <sighs> he was in Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the original. In John Wick. Oh, um, the one that died? Yeah, it made me sad. Yeah. That guy was a great actor. Yeah, he was also in Ghost Protocol, which I was watching. Yep. Early. What do you think? What are your thoughts on Mission Impossible, the series? Are you going to see the new one? I would love to see a Fallout. Yeah, I hear it's great. Or yeah. fun, at least. Not necessarily great. No, I hear it's great. I, I always yeah. love uh, Mission Impossible. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a fun, fun series. They get better, I think. They've gotten better. They, they get, get better so much better. better. Once Chris McQuarrie took it over. Fantastic. Yeah. Chris McQuarrie's great. Have you seen Way of the Gun? That was one of his... Uh, that was... Uh, yeah, I think I've seen it years ago. Ryan Philippe, uh, Benicio Del Toro. Yeah. Fantastic McCory film. His brother, who was a Navy SEAL, actually coordinated all the gunfights, which, which is what makes them all very authentic. And actually, my favorite part in the first gunfight is where Benicio Del Toro is shooting his shotgun, and then it, features, then it, then it stovepipes, it jams, the shell doesn't eject properly. And so instead, in most productions, what would happen is the director would call cut, and then they would clear the jam and then f keep going. Then they'd st do the scene over. What happens in Way of the Gun is it ju he just clears it and keeps firing. It's great. Um, yeah, that's one of my favorite action movies, actually. Um, I need to give another chance because I remember watching it and not really being too crazy about it. It's so fun. I mean, it's also it's kind of a fuck you to the major mainstream movies at the time. Like, because the guys are not good people. The heroes are not heroes. Mm -hmm. No one's good in that movie, really. But it's very well done. Deals in grace. You deals in a lot of grace. Great cast, too. Um, which reminds me, because Tay Diggs is in that Equilibrium. I was see watching that a little while ago again. That's a, such a dumb movie. I remember you trying to get me to watch it. It's so dumb, but it's fun. But I, I real, what I really don't... I, not don't like, but what really makes me laugh is that they equate all the gunfights. They're, they're nerd. They're literal, like, like people call me a gun nerd, which I am, but mm -hmm. they're literal nerds in the gunfights. They're like math geniuses or some shit, because all, all gunfights can be boiled down to simple math. or something. It's really stupid. Gun kata is dumb, but it looks so cool. Um, and that reminds me, we've got to watch Underworld, too. Yeah. The first yeah. Underworld was pretty fun, but if really dumb. And The Witch. The Witch, we gotta say. I mean, I, that first scene was terrifying. I don't know if I've said that on the podcast yet, but it's... Yeah, that and Hereditary are my favorite horror movies. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite horror movie, Joe? Oh, wow, there's a lot. <laughs> um, Jesus, this is gonna be a hard one. <laughs> um, well, I, I do love the... Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I, I know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to remember. Um, I do love the, uh, the Friday the 13th movies, as well as, okay. um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay. Um, I, so you're there, more there, a, there were other horror films, too, that I did enjoy. So you're more of a slasher guy than, like, a, well, a, not, no, a not, ghost not, guy. Not, not just slashers, I mean, okay. there, there's other movies I, I do enjoy. Right. I uh, like. I, I did enjoy, um, why, why can't I think at this moment? Uh, <laughs> yeah, because it's fucking hot. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty warm. Um, there were movies like, um, there was movies like, uh, like, oh, God, shit. Well, what are they about? 
Chucky is one of them. Let's well, start yeah, naming Chuck, them. Yeah, Chucky. Yeah, there we go. Well, let's well, more well Charles plays... Uh, yeah. One. Well, the first one is not so much. Like, they start getting com- comedic in, like, uh, Bride of Chucky. Oh, I thought they were always comedic. Because that's no. a silly idea. It is silly, but they weren't... So were horror movies back in the day. I'd have to say my favorite horror movie, I mean, Seven is one of my favorite films of all time, but it's more of a thriller than a horror, because I consider horror... The Ring. Yeah, great. The, the so, Ring. Yeah. I, I, all, Dark Water was great, too. I love the old I, Japanese movies. I saw Ringu one. That, that Ringu's was, great, but I... Ringu, which is out of print, by the way. It's fucking uh, expensive. That sucks. I had the DVD. You do? Oh, nice. Lucky the, the, the DVD that I picked up from a uh, from an old school that I went to... <sighs> Yeah, well, yeah, it was a it was a school I'd been to when yeah. when I was just a little kid. They had Ringu there. Yeah, they That's they great. they were selling it though. That's uh, good over there, and I picked it up. That's great. Yeah, I remember we can find that movie for like five bucks. Anyway. Yeah, and now it's like going for like sixty. Yeah, that's so good. What's the most valuable well, DVD we we have between us? Do you think? Um, the tenth anniversary old boy Blu-ray. Not Faithful like, Findings. No. Because oh, that, that the value went down. Ah, oh, that's true. But the old boy Blu-ray is like two hundred bucks. Oh, nice. Never selling that. No. Um. Oh, I missed the sale on Stalker too. I forgot. I was also, get... um. So did I tell you that Amazon canceled my Holy Mountain order? Oh, again? those sons of bitches. Yeah, they said they would ship it to me in mid-September, but then they just like unceremoniously canceled it. They didn't even say anything. They sent me an email, but they didn't really like. They just, it was just a <sighs> obligatory kind of like you're. Your order's been canceled. That sucks, dude. Yeah, no reason behind it. That's we gotta. Uh, Jodorowsky movies really need to be more. Have you ever seen any of Alexander Jodorowsky's work? Alejandro. 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 It's the equivalent of Alexander. Yes. I, I think. Yeah, he did El Topo, The Holy Mountain. Uh, Great Santa films. Sangre. Yeah. Santa Sangre is basically um, his version of Psycho. I would I would call it. Yeah. Although I like it better because it's so weird. Yeah. There's a, there's a scene where the um, one that was sent to circus, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There there's this scene where um, the mental hospital p- patients, which is a m- bunch of Down syndrome actors, who are you know actors with Down syndrome, because they were playing mental patients, because that's back in the day you just sent your Down syndrome kid to a mental hospital to be probably horribly mistreated, mm-hmm. and so they're on a field trip. And then this guy, they go to this guy, and he's like, he just gives him cocaine, and then takes him to hookers. Yeah, that's it's really so great. Scene. Although my favorite part of that scene is that he puts the cocaine under their nose, and they pretend to sniff it, but clearly don't. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, they, it's nothing very to funny to me yeah, for some inhaled. reason. Yeah. Um, let's see. What is my favorite horror movie? I'd have to say. Well, from, also um, going back to horror movies. Yeah. I think I'm getting my mind straight now. Okay. Um. Yes, uh, I did love some of the Stephen King movies, like, um, yes, I'm going to say it, Maximum Overdrive. That's oh, yeah. Hey, you know what? That is One a fun movie. the actors movie. came into the video tech, my work. Oh, cool. And they're yeah. actually doing a documentary about the production of Maximum Overdrive. That's oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Um, I just wish there was a Blu-ray already. There is it? No, it's only... It's overseas. Oh, that sucks. I don't even think you can get H... Um, do, is it H... Do we have it on HD on Voodoo? We might. We can check. Okay. But if it's on HD on Voodoo, then I imagine why Let's can't check. they do a Blu-ray, you know? Let's check right if now. If there's an HD remaster of it available, why not put it on disc? I hope this doesn't affect the sound, but it probably won't. It probably will, actually. But let's see. HD Maximum Overdrive. Where is it? Oh, hey, we've got a... Insidious is one of my favorite horror movies, actually, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, have you, you've seen that, right? Yes, I've seen it. Yeah. Um, that's That scene with the... Um, the red face man, Darth Maul. Darth Maul, where he just pops in uh-huh. after uh, Barbara Hershey is talking. That's that gets me every time. And it's also, funny. everyone says that's such a like startling moment, but I never jump at that part. Yeah, what really gets me though? Where is the maximum overdrive? Son of a gun. Uh, what really gets me is the part where he they take the picture and it turns into the hag. Uh huh. Who, by the way, you really need to see the sequel because it's not all you think it is. I know. I'll, I'll get around to it sometime. Maybe tonight, hopefully. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, man, I can't find it. That's stupid. Oh, well. We're going to not talk about that then. No. We're going to not distract the podcast. I so. have so many favorite horror movies. Yeah. It's hard to, like, Robbie Suspiria. was the one who got me into horror films. Suspiria is one of them. Yeah, Suspiria. Yeah, that's another one. 78 Halloween. Uh... 
like I, I love classics. I also love contemporary horror. Like, yeah, I just love the whole genre. Nine to Living Dead. That yeah. was a great film. The Criterion Dawn Edition, the by dead. the way, is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Day of the Dead. Yeah. I love Day of the Dead out of all. Day of was my favorite for the a long, long 85 time. Eighty-five one. Yeah, yeah. Fun Lines wasn't the worst movie ever. The, it the was newest bad. It was pretty bad, but it wasn't the worst movie ever. No, it wasn't. It wasn't as bad as the the two thousand eight one. Yeah, two thousand eight one. That one was super bad. That one didn't even feel like it was trying to remake the like it was. It had echoes. It was like, it was like a remake in name only. Yeah. George Romero movies either have the best remakes or the worst remakes. The Crazies was a great remake. Great remake. Yeah. Man, I really want to see um, what's his name again? Timothy in, Oliphant. Timothy Oliphant. Great actor. Really underrated. I mean, he, he even makes Hitman tolerable. I mean, also older Kurlyanko. Yeah, well. <laughs> we didn't buy it just for the nudity. <laughs> we bought it for the action and the nudity. Yeah. Um, that's Actually, I, I don't know if I've said this on the podcast, but the second Hitman movie that doesn't feature uh, Timothy Oliphant, written by the same dude. Really? Skip, Skip Woods. Woods. Oh, yeah. Skip Woods. Weird, like, very variation in quality mm-hmm. of writing. Because he also wrote stuff, like, with David Ayer. Which is like, wow. This It's crazy. The week. Oh, shit, I'm so sorry. Wow, Robbie, this is a no-phone podcast. I know. I, I, I saw for, Bright. Phone jail! I forgot to put it on. Um, yeah, Bright was really good, I thought. Yeah, with uh, Will Smith. Yeah, I love Will Smith. Yeah. Um, D- David Ayer is one of my favorite directors, as I've said on the podcast. Um, what am I planning to get soon? I'm planning to get... Oh, let's talk about video games, because I just got some new video games. I got 2016 Doom... Uh-huh. Wolfenstein 2 and Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider on Xbox One. Nice. The, like, super edition of Tomb Raider. Well, you know what I got? What? I got the SNES Classic. Yeah, I remember you were complaining about the NES Classic because all the games sucked. Yeah, well, they don't suck. They're just not my speed. I don't yeah. really like... Anything before the SNES yeah. is not really my thing. Okay. The games got great when the SNES came out. Oh, yeah, when they started telling stories. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what we are. The gameplay was also better. Yeah, but we're also storytellers, and that's what makes us appreciate the games as the story. Yeah. Something. Like uh, I've been playing Super Mario RPG and Yoshi's Island a lot. All right, that's good. I I I think I've played a little. No, I'm thinking of Paper Mario. Which the first was Paper Mario. Was fantastic. Great. If they ever do that N64 classic, they better have Paper they Mario will. on there. I'm sure. Um, apparently, Nintendo. I've heard rumblings that they're they're shutting down a lot of emulator sites. Yeah, they're suing. But the, yeah. but now they can't find the original files for their games. So uh, it's like like the oh sorry we sued you um can we have those files please? Yes no they made us delete them. But yeah, Joe, you said you weren't much of a video game guy, but well, or, I was, but I stopped playing video games for some time now. Like, what was the last video game you played? Last video, well, the last video game I played was Mario. Which one? On the NES. Really? But did you have yeah, like a PS3? Well, when, when I had the NES um, last year, uh, oh, okay. I found it and and I was playing it for a while. An original it, NES? Yes, the original. Holy shit! That must be worth something. I don't really think so. I guess not. I'm not you can get GameStop. Yeah. But I stopped. Okay. Just I just spend more time just going on the computer. And just, okay. Or just watch some movies or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, Doom is awesome. 2016 Doom is so fun. Yeah, I need to finish it. Yeah, me I too. got to like, I got to hell. <laughs> and then I got to the other. <laughs> That's such a funny sentence for some reason, out yeah. of context. I got to hell and then I stopped playing. Yeah, and then I'm saying, yeah, whatever. Well, not because I didn't like it. It's because yeah. I don't have the Xbox One anymore. Yeah. I'm, I'm tempted to switch the Xbox One for the PS4, but I don't want to. I know. Well, you don't have to switch. You can keep that. You should keep it because you already invested so much money. I am into invested Xbox. so heavy into it. Just get a PS4. Yeah, I'm just. I'm gonna get the computer. Get God of War. Yes. Oh, I want it so bad. Uh, I actually and I started playing Wolfenstein, the one, first one. Well, first reboot one. Actually, this is like the third reboot of it of the series. So, New Order, right? New Order, yeah. That's pretty fun. Yeah, that was, it was pretty compelling too. Yeah, it was pretty solid, but um, New Colossus is like a huge improvement. Yeah. I love that the first level is you're in a wheelchair. Yeah. So that's that. really fun for me for some reason. It's pretty tough, though. It's a yeah. tough game. Even though I'm pretty good at shooters, that's a tough I'd game. I play on easy, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I think I'm a regular. Um, let's see. Huh. 
Come on, Mr. Showrunner. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to be the LP, though. We have a guest here. Why don't you ask We do have a guest here. What Twice. questions should we ask you? Uh, I'm just trying to think of questions we haven't asked him already. Is, um, shit. What anime do you watch, Joe? Do you watch <laughs> anime? I'm just looking I, at... I've seen anime, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're a big Tenchi Muyo... Or... Yes, Tenchi Muyo. Tenchi Muyo fan. Yeah. Yeah, I we like the video where you shot Yeah, that's a fun action. video. Because yeah. the music's really good. Yeah. A long time ago. Um, yeah, I was, um... I was watching the, the, the movies and the, the TV yeah, shows. Yeah, I, I used guys. to like that show, too, actually. Oh, Joe, do you like Cowboy Bebop? Yeah. Cowboy Bebop's really the best. Really God damn. That was the best show. It was a great show. I... I remember watching this on a on Adult Swim. Like, yeah. Back when I was in high school, and yeah. it, such a great show. It was amazing. Yeah. The movie's great too. Yeah. Saw that at theaters. Nice. <laughs> nice. At the uh, the Playhouse Seven. Cool. I would have loved to have seen that. Too. That would have been great. Yeah. That was. A have you ever seen the trailer for the movie? No. So bad. It's bad. It's a terrible trailer. It doesn't re represent the cool style. It's so tryhard and like almost want to be Matrixy. The trailer, mm. despite using scenes from the movie, it was, it's weird. It's a very '90s trailer, and very bad '90s trailer for one of the finest anime movies of all time. Oh, that's that reminds me. We wanted to recommend. Have you ever heard of Perfect Blue? I've heard of Perfect Blue. Fantastic film. Yeah. You should probably try to do a review of it. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, I influenced like um, Darren Aronofsky from Very Ice Swan and I stuff. just watched uh, Akira recently. Oh yeah, Akira. Or Akira. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. I have that same Blu-ray. Yeah, yeah. I, I particularly like the old the old cast of it just because Cam Clark. Yeah. yeah Although Johnny Young Bosch is not bad. It's got it's got some heavy hitters in the new cast, but I like the old cast a lot. I just like the audio quality of the original dub. Yeah, it's got a very ninety late eighties, early nineties, and I think that was one of the best times for anime dubbing. Yeah. Yeah. Not that they're bad now. Well, but not just for anime dubbing, for anime in general. Like, yeah, that's true. Mid-80s to early 2000s. Yeah. It was like the golden age. I don't know if I've talked about my Helsing kick lately on the podcast. No, have I haven't. I got back into Helsing Ultimate, which is a fantastic because anime. Because of Vampyr, which is because a Because of the game, game Vampyr, yeah. which is a great game. But I, I actually also, as I, I don't know if I've said on the podcast, I auditioned for Helsing Ultimate. Have you ever heard of Helsing? Helsing? Helsing, it's oh, about... Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I actually auditioned for the Ultimate series to be Schrodinger. That was fun. And Laura Bailey got the part, but she's fantastic. And it's such a fun show, or fun series. I mean, I, I'm starting to get back into the original series, too, which not amazing. But it's the... I forgot how fast the, the Ultimate series moved, really. There was, like, very little character building, actually. Yeah, it's, like, almost all action. It's just like, whoa, it's bam, like bam, 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 bam. Fury whoa. Road of Anime. It is the... That's a good comparison. The Fury Road of Anime with vampires. Yeah. Ah, uh, man. That was a great anime, though. Very well drawn, although compared to, like, Madhouse stuff, it's not as impressive, but, you know. I need to get the Blu-rays. Yeah. Same. Um. So, Joe, I have a question. Yeah. Are you ever going to do, like, a, um, a video where you show off your entire movie collection? You should do that. Yeah, I might do that. Okay. Cool. Um, That'd be great. I, I got, like, I got so, tons of DVDs and Blu-rays everywhere and some VHS tapes. Do you have any, like, signed movies, like, autographed movies? Um, I only got just uh, a few that were autographed, like... Good for, Burger? Oh, yeah, yeah, like Good Burger, for oh. instance. So. It's sad that Kel Mitchell had to stoop to flappers, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, just joking. <laughs> Flappers is not very well regarded in the comedy community. Well, you're a comedy snob. I am. But, I mean, it's not... I, I hear it's not a bad place to work. It's just you don't grow as a comic there very well because they're very, I guess, forgiving crowds at Flappers. Like, it's definitely not the comedy store, which I'm sure Kel Mitchell has been to as well. I'm sure he's passed. I think I've seen his name there. It's just... It's, it's kind of an inside joke in the comedy community that Flappers... I mean... I've been to Flappers. I it's good. It's a fine comedy club. They just don't book the in the amazing acts that the comedy store does a lot of the time. They get some good ones sometimes, yeah. but I mean the comedy store is a far superior club. <laughs> I mean, I just insulted Joe. I didn't insult Joe. I just <laughs> well, insulted you know, the, the Flappers. You're saying Kel Mitchell is not good enough to play at the comedy. I didn't club. say that. 
Well, you I said, in fact said the you, opposite. No, you said that um, it's. I said it's it a shame. Doesn't attract, he doesn't attract. You know the quality that the comedy is. I didn't about. say. I said it's a shame that Kel Mitchell stooped to flappers. Mm, okay. That means he lowered himself. All right. Well, that needs a lot of work. I mean, he's, he's, he I, just did a Nickelodeon I show. I didn't even know he did stand. Ships. Yeah, I didn't even know he did stand up. I thought he was just a specifically a comedic actor. You know, you know, an actor comedian. Like, yeah. I didn't know he did stand up. I just said that twice, and I don't know why. But um, yeah, that's a uh, very fun. I mean, the the food's pretty good at Flappers too. Do I will say do that. Do that burgers? Yes. Are they good burgers? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You son be. of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Um, actually, they do have a lot more. It's weird because they have a, they focus on food a bit more, quite a bit more than the comedy store does, which I think is part of why they're less regarded as a comedy place than as a restaurant. What kind of food do they serve? Quite a few things, like burgers and... Did you put that meat in the fridge? Oh, fuck no, oh I didn't. Oh, my God, you can't eat that. Yeah, I can't. Quinn traveled here in the fucking California desert with a... Thing of uncooked meat. Yeah. And expects to eat it. Oh. I'm still gonna eat it. I mean, it was only seventy five cents. I can well, throw you're it out. With... the fucking bath. No, I can. Room. I can throw it. I can throw it out without any shame because it's only. It was only seventy five cents. Seventy five cent meat. Yes. No expiration date on it. <laughs> sounds... I could not find an expiration. I looked. There it was none. Like you might be trying to commit suicide. I got it from Ralph's. Ralph's, by the way, please sponsor the show. Um. Oh man, Jack has the movie is in that pile too. Yeah, well, I'm just going to spoil everything. No, I want people to be surprised. Jackass. Have you seen Jackass? Yes. That's a funny movie. Do you like them? Yeah. They're funny. As, they're <laughs> so gut-punchingly funny, like Borat, too. Uh-huh. Just sucker punch to the stomach. It's like, oh my god. It's instinctually funny. Yeah. Not like clever most of the time. Sometimes they're clever. But it's just gut-punchingly funny, which is great. I love that kind of stuff. Yeah. People hurting themselves is sometimes the funniest <laughs> thing in the world. Oh, yeah, I remember when um, I laughed when you um, broke your knee on that fire hydrant. I didn't break my knee, man, but, you know, <laughs> I broke my knee. You, uh, Shout outs to Bob Kelly. Yeah, you injured yourself pretty bad on that fire hydrant. It was hydrant. pretty bad. I was bleeding. And, and then I was laughing a lot. I couldn't stop laughing. Also, farts are pretty funny, too. Yeah, farts. Anyone who says farts aren't funny is an idiot. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Especially when you're talking about something like <laughs> stupid <laughs> and you just start farting. No, when you're <laughs> talking about a serious subject there's, and you... There's, you know, yeah, serious subject, and you're just farting a lot. <laughs> it's the best thing in the world. Um, I got into 3D animation recently, too. I'll actually probably include... You went from... Yeah, um, yeah, farts Oh, I talked funny. about this. Oh, yeah, so 3D animation is like very <laughs> Yeah. I was hoping I would let a ripper cut. No. But I did, <laughs> just uh, I did just say that, actually, is that 3D animation is a lot easier than I thought it would be, and it's pretty fun. Mm-hmm. I'll actually probably include my little animation in the video, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, you should do that. That mean I have to do the time codes, though. Well, don't be lazy. I'm lazy as fuck. Um, Infinity War. Who's seen it? I haven't. I have. I loved it. Yeah, I thought it was great. We did talk about this already, though. But yeah, with Jake. But what did what? I, what I, I, I love. Uh, don't spoil anything. But... I know. I, I know. I'm not going to. I mean, even though it's gonna hurt. <laughs> okay. I mean, I I haven't watched a ton of Marvel films. Well, you're just you just open into... yourself up to Marvel. <laughs> Yeah. I remember you were like anti Marvel. Oh yeah, I was more of a DC dude. Um, well, I, love, I love superhero movies. I'm really not that huge of a fan of them, but I just realized actually the Punisher was the like the first Marvel movie. You said this the last. I podcast. did shit. Yeah, you did. I mean, I have such a small brain that also, I only it's have not three because what about fucking Captain America from the seventies? God damn it! You're right. You didn't bring that up the last time. No, I let yourself embarrass you. I let yourself embarrass you. Well, good thing we don't have listeners to correct me, because that means I can always be right. Yeah. As long as I fool you. Well, I was hoping that, you know, the one comment we would get would be be an angry fan saying, no, you fucking (laughs) read. There there were Marvel movies before Punisher. Yeah. And wasn't the Fantastic Four movie that never got released before that, too? Well, it never got released. It doesn't count. God, it got made. It never got released. Didn't Troma have a hand in that? Wasn't Lloyd Kaufman involved in that? It wouldn't surprise me. No, it was Roger Corman. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. I want to get into Troma. We well, talked about the James. Well, what is the you thought? Didn't we see that one movie? Where the kids are dying again? All the kids yes. Are in the yes, that was fun. Yeah. What movie was that? That was Caution Children at Play. Yes. That was fun. Well, yeah, have you, you've heard of Troma, right? Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on the James Gunn situation? 
Or he got fired he, from... He, he's been saying all this for years now. But even, even though he apologized before Disney hired him... He shouldn't have apologized, though. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, Disney's to. just full of he shit. He had to. Yeah, I get I, why I'm he had to. I'm going to be honest. Disney's full of shit sometimes. Yeah. They're, they're already buying now Fox. and they're gonna Yeah, but that, that's, that's for... The reason they're doing that is because they want to consolidate all the Marvel shit. Yeah. I mean, I understand why they're doing it. They're Disney's all... alien. Disney's alien. <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically, the stuff they produce, they own so many things. They produce a lot of... And they always have. Well, I think the problem is that it's a monopoly going on. Disney. I mean, honestly, fuck antitrust laws, because at least if the, a, mono, a monopoly, is, as long as it's voluntary, as long as people are you know, willing to pay this company to do what it does, there's always the option of undercutting, mm -hmm. as long as there's no force involved. You know, as long as they're not, you know, shutting down... Antitrust laws really create monopolies, in fact. Um, but this is not part of the problem, so we're not getting into that. Yeah. Um, Martyrs, I need to see Martyrs. I just saw on Voodoo because I have it open. Oh, yeah, that's a... Actually, that's not as good as a lot of people make it out to be. It's a good movie, Yeah. but I feel like it... The last half hour is just kind of boring. Yeah. Oh, that also... Voodoo also reminded me. We need to see I, Tanya, because I really want you to see it because it's hysterical. Have you seen I, Tanya? I, Tanya? Yeah. About Tanya Harding? It's yeah, it's a fantastic it. movie. Actually, what what really got me the last time I saw it was it's like, this has fantastic cinematography, too. Because it's like... That's how I felt about Nacho Libre. Yeah. It's like, this is a really funny movie, but then... And then like, it's like, oh, this is beautiful. It, the cinematography is great. Yeah. No, it's it's very fun to go back to movies that you love and then realize this is even better. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had that experience, Joe, where you go back to a movie and not only does it hold up, it's like this is much better than I thought it was. Yeah, I, I get that too sometimes. Like what? With what? I'm like you know when whenever I go back to seeing a movie that that's trying this hard, um, then I just saw it like the second time around and. It just gets better and better. As yeah, but what's one of those movies that has happened to it? Um, what, like for example, Willy Wonka in a Chocolate Factory. Oh. Um, at first, you know, because this was based on a book. Yeah. By Ron Dow. Yeah. I, I was hoping it was going to be what I expected, but then it was like, oh man, it was it was hard. It was dark. It was yeah crazy. You know that's that that specific scene you're talking about is the tunnel scene. That scene, they did not tell the kids that they were go what they were was going to happen. Mm -hmm. So that that shot, you're like, holy shit, what is this? That's all real. Yeah, that's like one of the best scenes. Yeah, that is the best scene in the movie. I just heard that someone say that poem recently. I can't think of what it was from. Just out in probably a podcast. Well, Gene Wilder was always brilliant. Gene Wilder, absolute monster. Like in terms of comedy, like mm -hmm. not in terms of, of as a person. He was great yeah. dude. But him and Richard Pryor were dream team. Yes. Great comics, uh, my great comedy of characters. Theirs were see no evil, hear no evil. Yeah, I, I don't think I've seen that one. I don't remember what one I've seen, ones I've seen actually. I know I've seen some of the Richard Pryor, Gene Wilders, but I can't think of what they are. I never seen the, his stand up, but um, I love him in like the Mel Brooks movies. Oh yeah, he's an even like, like he's a great saddles. he's a great stand up, but he's also he's a much better comedic actor. Mm -hmm. it's, it's yeah, Richard Pryor was great. Anyway, so I think we're probably winding down. Unless there's anything you guys would like to say. Um, I had something I was thinking of, but I lost it. It's this heat, man. Yeah. It's this heat. Also, um, I still am partially hungover from last night. Oh, yeah? You partied hard, dude. Yeah. Oh, uh, you've, you've talked about your... Yeah, you did. Talk about what? I was going to bring up the, A Quiet Place. What did you think of that, John? Did you see it? I haven't seen it yet. It sucks. Yeah, that's what... Robbie says, and I'm sure, I believe Robbie that it sucks. Oh, Paprika, you should also see Paprika, have you seen that? Yeah. That's a uh, fantastic movie. movie. I don't know if we've talked about that yet, but uh, yeah, fantastic film. You should do a review. Yeah. Um, and I guess with that, uh, any plugs? Yeah, I got my channel, uh, Donald the Rob, which I will be uploading that hoarding up video very soon. All right. Uh... My YouTube channel is, well, I'll just type in Just Be Sephora and you'll find it. And you know, something funny is that yeah. every time we type in your name, 
The first thing that comes up is just if a Sonora, which is like, what the hell? I don't know why that came I don't know. Yeah, well, you YouTube. think YouTube's algorithms would realize by now. No, we don't mean this It's also funny dude. because jo you have many more subscribers. have more views than any of his stuff. This so guy has you... one subscriber, the yeah. Sonora dude. So why like, maybe it's the cartels. <laughs> yeah. It's the, it's the cartels dude. We talked about Sicario 2, right? Yeah. Sounds... Oh, yeah. Have you seen Sicario 2? No, I haven't seen it yet. Fantastic, maybe better than the first one. Yeah. Which is a... Hard thing to do because the first one is so excellent. Yeah, I want to see Yellowstone too. Uh, Sheridan wrote that too. Yellowstone. Yellowstone. It's about the. It's a Taylor Sheridan thing. Kevin Costner's in it. TV series. Oh, I never heard of it. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty. I'm sure it's good. You know. Well, and Taylor I guess. Sheridan. Yeah, Taylor Sheridan can do no wrong, pretty much. Is there anything he's done that's not great? No, I can't think of anything. Yeah, I can't either. Probably the the. I don't remember his acting. Well, yeah, I guess Sons of Anarchy. Probably the weakest thing he's done. And that's supposed to be great, too. But as a writer? Writer, you can be found. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I can be found at Right on Target. That's right with a W. If you know, if you don't know that, how did you get to this channel? Um, but I'm also on Twitter and Instagram. Also, Right on Target Photography.com. Uh, also on Facebook and Twitter. And even the, yes, I do have an Instagram, too. Oh, that was one thing I wanted to bring up, Joe, actually, is in your reviews, you tend to not like, like, the internet and stuff in movies, and I just was curious as to why that was. I don't know, it just seems like just a, another uh, gimmick that they're just coming up with, and to me, it's just boring. Well, I mean, you can't really have a modern-day movie without at least mentioning the internet, because it's such a influence in our lives. I know. But it just feels like I'm I'm just watching just another commercial, like I'm I'm like I'm watching a commercial for for a, a, the latest cell phone that they got or right. the latest uh, social media. What's going on? Well, I mean, for the cell phone thing, that is probably also because of the fact that these companies sort of pay to get their products in. It is technically sort of an ad. Oh, you know what's funny? What? So, like, Mac and Me just came out on Blu-ray. Oh, you know what's funny is that we're actually, we just wound, oh, started winding yeah. down and we're know, actually thinking of tar content. No, I'm not against it. We can go yeah. an hour. We're ready to chop up those big bags. Yeah, yeah, but I was thinking that no one really makes those kind of, like, those movies anymore. They're just, like, there to advertise, like, We talked product. about this, too, though, didn't we, last podcast with Uncle Drew? Uncle Drew, did we talk about that I podcast? think so. Have you heard of Uncle Drew? Um, it's like the Pepsi movie. Yeah, apparently. Never saw it. Yeah, I, I don't probably even know. won't. <laughs> Probably won't see it. Probably won't. But I find it fascinating that there's still that, that movie got made. Yeah, I mean, back in the day, I mean, back in the day, there this happened so much. Like the Nintendo, what, what was that? The Wizard, the Wiz, the Wiz, oh, the, Wizard. the Wizard, yeah, Wizard, yeah. No, the Wiz is Michael Jackson. Yeah. Which, I'm trying to think of a pedophile joke, but I can. Just letting you know, there. If you, send me your best Michael Jackson pedophile jokes, um, in the comments. There won't be any. There won't be. No, but that's because. They're not as good as me in comedy, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, advertising, now it's like you have to pay people sometimes. Unless you're really successful, then they'll pay you and help sponsor the movie. But it's like you used to get kickbacks from like things but for featuring their logo in the old days, which they did a lot of that. Like I, I was at the Slaughterhouse. We've talked, we talked about that on one of our earlier podcasts, very early podcasts, the Slaughterhouse premiere I went to. Well, premiere, well, you know screening, mm -hmm. where the they were talking about how, yeah, Pepsi, if you used to have a Pepsi can in, they'd send Pepsi to you. That's awesome. I would just make a bunch of movies. Oh, yeah. Pepsi just products it. I wanted? Yeah. It would be so great. Yeah. And you didn't even have to be successful, but now you have to pay to use people's logos, and it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Yeah, I it's bullshit. I, yeah, actually, Wave the Gun, that brings me back to Wave the Gun, where um, the scene in the final shootout where he jumps into the fountain and, there, and he gets breaks a lot of these, those bottles. They had cleared a lot of the bottles to logos to be used, but then they had to CG them out because the, the companies had not approved of them being used as weapons. It's like, come on! I understand branding, but come on. Well, you can have the Pepsi in here, but we just don't want people getting hurt with it. You know? Yeah, I, I mean, I sort of get it, but huh. it's also ridiculously stupid. Yeah. As yeah. if it encourages people to beat people with Pepsi bottles. I mean, there are some pretty dumb people out there. Who would do that? It's like, oh, Pepsi's in there. Being used as a weapon. I, I don't know why he's Southern, but I guess because they're dumb. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, Pepsi's being used as a weapon. I I'm going to go beat a black with it. 
We I had mean, it. We had Southern. It. Yeah. <laughs> Southern. I'm doing a character. Uh, yeah, sure. You racist piece of shit. I mean, I am descended from Robert E. Lee, and that is true. Um, anyway. Anyway, hail Hitler. No. <laughs> no. No. You know, he, I don't know, I, I don't, I told Robbie, but did you know he believed in, like, hollow earth? He believed in a lot of dumb shit. Sure does. I mean, he had some points, like the Volkswagen Beetle. You what? thought I was going to say, he had some good points, like the Autobahn and the VW Beetle. But he also believed in some dumb shit, like exterminating Jews in the hollow earth. He thought, apparently, there was some weird occult shit where he thought, the uh, there was an a the the Aryan the Aryans in his mind were aliens, and then one then apparently he met them or some dumb shit and then called them space Jews or something. Space Jews. Anyway, there's a great last podcast in the last series where it talks about Nazis and their occult beliefs, and it's hysterical because they believed in some really stupid things. I guess we're all the tip of the iceberg. Oh yeah, yeah. There haven't been any great werewolf movies lately, have there? Last um, one I can think of is Dog Soldiers. No, I think... Yeah, you're right. I can't really think of any kind of really... Well, The Conjuring 3 is going to have a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Christian superhero movies. I mean, I love them. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen The Conjuring movies? Yeah, a long time ago. Okay. I haven't seen it. It's too scary for you? No. Okay. No, I actually did enjoy those movies. Yeah, they're great. It's just that the Warrens are con people. <laughs> Come after me, Lorraine. Yeah. But, anyways, I guess that's the end of the podcast. We are at almost an hour. Yeah, 56 minutes. All right. Yeah, and, we always celebrate the length of our podcast. Yep. Because we don't have the length to celebrate otherwise. <laughs> Swim walk! Oh, wait, no, that's sad. Let's hope they start... Uh... <laughs> subscribing these days yeah we try to promote but like i i had a 3d animate the 3d animation was up for like it has no views apparently either that or youtube's lying to me which they do yeah but yeah that that little cacodemon thing has no views yet yeah. all right anyway that's that's the podcast we'll see you maybe next week hopefully yeah. bye bye